Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel 6.0 video tutorial, we will see that what is the seeding in the Laravel and how we can use it. So first of all, let's see the points that we are just going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see uh, the theoretically what is actually seeding. Then we will just make an example for the seeding. And after that, uh, uh, we will see that how we can make the multiple file seeding or we can create a new file for the seeding and execute the seeding from the new file. All right. So now let's see the first question. What is the seeding? So let's say you have uh, some tables in your database and you just want to some dummy data here. All right. So like I just have a product table here and I just want to some dummy data from here. So for the dummy data, you can do the two things. One is you can just insert the data from manually here but this is not an efficient way for the efficient way you can use the seeding all right so basically seeding is used for putting the dummy data in your database tables all right so i hope the first question is uh, clear to you and now uh, let's see the second thing that how we can execute the example right so for now i have a product table here and here you can see that this is the blank there is a no result in this table so how i can add the some data here with, with the help of seeding right so first of all let's go inside the uh, uh, database folder here it is here it is all right and just click on the seeding folder and here you will find the database seeder.php file right so just open it and I'm just going to hide the sidebar so that we have a wide area to make the codes. So in the run function, you will see some code here, which is the commanded. So this code is not required for now. I'm just going to remove it and let's see that how we can add the data for that. First of all, we need a DB instance and the table is the function of it. And inside it, I must have to pass the my database table name, which is the product. Right. Right. So I'm just going to put it here and after that I just want to show the uh, I just want to use the insert function here right, like uh, <laughs> and inside the insert, insert function I have to use an array and inside the array I have to put the key value pair which is uh, equal to the fields so here you can see that I have three fields but if I am just going to click on the uh, structure here, you can see that ID is auto incremented. So I just have to put the two things here, which is the name and the category. All right. So let's come back here and I'm just going to put here name and uh, name can be like, uh, uh, I will just show you the uh, random things also. Let's see first thing like hello product. All right. And after that, let's. I'll just use this category and category also can be like uh, hello cat uh, hello cat right so that's it for now and it will just make some uh, let's put the semicolon here and now your basic seeding is ready for run the CD let's just come on the uh, command line prompt and here we just have to put here a simple command which is just right here php artisan db colon c and just hit the enter okay so let me check there is some error uh, 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 okay category i i think i just misspelled the category here and it should be match with the this field so let's copy from here and paste it directly right so now let's run it once again just clear the command line and let's clear the command line here and just run it again and now you can see that database seeding completed so if i'm just coming back here and click on clicking on it ignore the warnings now you can see that the id is to hello product is there and hello category is also here all right so but if we just want to run it again and again we just want to put some random data for that you can just simply put here some uh, str kind of things like str and here just put the random and inside the random let's put the character that you just want to choose like 10 and uh, like this and same thing we can just also 
views here so that the every time the product can be different right so now let's try to run it once again i hope everything is fine now you can see that this is run again now there is there should be two results ignore the warnings i don't know why they're coming now you can see that the product name and the category is also uh, random right so this is a simple way that how you can just make the seeding now let's see if you just want to create the different file for a different table let's say i just have one more table like uh, categories just i want to make the seeding on, on on that also that how would i can do for it right so first of all that you must have to create a seeder file for it and for that just you have to write here php artisan and seeder and after the seeder we must have to put the seeder uh, file name so let's say i'm just going to put here product and uh, table seeder mm -hmm, and just hit the enter and now oh, okay actually i just have to use the cedar make uh php artisan make cedar and the file name now let's come back here and now you can see that there is a new file here product table right for this right so if i just want to put my product code here so i can just uh, remove the code from here to here right and uh, now uh, if I'm just going to put here uh, PHP artisan DB sheet it will not not going to execute because for that we must have to dump auto load first so I'm just going to put here one command here composer dump auto load and just hit the enter and this command sometimes just take um, 20 to 30 seconds or sometime it's actually depend your uh, processing speed and now you can see that uh, this is completed here and now I if I just run here uh, my previous command php artisan db seed right and now let's check here come back to here and ignore the warnings now you can see that okay so because uh, this is not a default file it will not, not just going to run like this for that we have to use a different command which is uh, php artisan db seed and then we have to use the minus minus class and the file name we have to put here all right so my file name is product table and i am just going to put here equal to paste here product table seeder and just hit the enter now this seeding is completely executed and let's check now you can see that the fourth column is also here so if i am just running it again now you will find the uh, next data like this all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion related to the seeding you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care